Mastering Passive Voice in Everyday Conversations Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's lesson, we're going to dive deeper into a vital part of English language, the passive voice. Specifically, we'll explore how to apply passive voice in our daily routine contexts. Sounds intriguing, doesn't it? Let's get started. To use passive voice correctly, we first need to understand what it is. Passive voice is a way of constructing a sentence so that the subject of the sentence is the receiver of the action, rather than the doer. In English, a simple active voice sentence follows this structure. Subject plus verb plus object. Example. I wash the dishes. In the passive voice, the object and subject switch places. Object plus, to be. Verb plus past participle plus by plus subject. Example. The dishes are washed by me. In daily routine contexts, using passive voice can emphasize the action being done, rather than who is doing it. It can also add variety to your sentences and make your conversation more engaging. Example. Instead of saying, I made my bed this morning, you can say, My bed was made this morning. Let's practice transforming active voice sentences to passive voice. Remember, the action is the star of the show in passive voice. 1. Active. I feed the dog every morning. Passive. The dog is fed every morning. 2. Active. My mom packs my lunch for school. Passive. My lunch is packed for school. 3. Active. The gardener waters the plants. Passive. The plants are watered. With practice, you'll be able to switch between active and passive voice fluidly. In English, we don't only use passive voice with simple sentences. We also use it with more complex structures. Here are a couple of examples. 1. Passive voice with modals, could, should, would, etc. Example. The laundry should be done by evening. 2. Passive voice with continuous tenses. Example. Dinner is being prepared. Feel free to play around with these structures in your everyday conversations. And there you have it, folks. Mastering passive voice can definitely elevate your English, and as we've seen today, it's not as daunting as it may seem at first. Remember, practice is key, so try to incorporate the passive voice in your daily routine conversations. See you in the next lesson. Happy learning!